Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus this is a new series I'm going to incorporate into the channel. I'll be doing monthly bonus readings for all the signs on love, life, and advice. So if you're familiar with my channel, I did do those weekly element readings where it was a love, life, and advice, but I decided to do individual bonus readings for each sign per month instead. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll see what kind of energy, if something didn't come out in your um, monthly readings, there may be something here that may come out that you need to hear or know at this time. Could be just messages you need to hear at this time. Doesn't necessarily mean it will come into fruition in January, or it could be past energy, future energy. You can, energy is energy, can be past, present, or future. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome everybody. Hope you're having a great new year. So let's see what we get for the bonus reading for Taurus, Love, Life, and Advice. I'm going to pull two cards, well one card and then the bottom of the deck for each deck, Oracle deck, and then we'll clarify that energy with Tarot, just like I used to do with the weekly element readings if you watch those. So I thought individual readings would be better. So you can let me know how you enjoy this in the comments below. All right, so what's going on with love for Taurus in this bonus reading for the month of January? Love, life, and advice spirit, please, for Taurus. So we have here, like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. So we have two, which is about unity, people coming together and unity of some kind. So needing... To, if you are in union, uh, needing to be more affectionate, loving, um, that kind of energy um, with you and your person. And then we have here 47, physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Wow. And 74 here is um, 11, which is 2. So we have two, two here. So if some of you, if two is an important number for you, two, two, and Taurus, you are two, 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 two. Wow, so you may wanna look up that angel number, two, two, two. Maybe two is significant for you in some way. Um, but something here about being more affectionate, physical touch, uh, being in a higher vibration between you and your person and yourself also. Wow, okay, so we're gonna, um, Clarify all this energy with the tarot after. So let's see what's going on in life for you, Taurus. I do say Taurus. Um, you can check the description box below. Tons of information down there. Decks I'm using, um, social media, if you'd like to send a gift or tip or donate as an exchange of energy. All that information is below, as well as how to reach out for personal reading if you would like to do that. And if you do, thank you so much. And your playlists are down there also. General and love playlists are down there for Taurus. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to check out my channel and something catches your eye, I say watch it regardless of the date. Okay. What's going on in life? This bonus reading for Taurus, please. Spirit. No, it's way too many. It's way too many. Just want one for Taurus. What's going on in life for Taurus? We have Eight of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So this is fire energy. So this is about travel, action, communication, fast travel, action, communication. Sometimes they call it Cupid's arrows, striking, sending them out. So let's see. So I do take that again as being more affectionate with people, uh, lovers, friends, family, whoever here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have here 10 of Michael. The situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So this could be something that ended for you. Could be a job. Um, something here has come to an ending, but I feel like this is gonna, in, will enable you to move forward in a new direction with the eight of Gabriel, that fiery, passionate energy, like moving in a new direction to, you know, feeling very fiery, passionate, excited for something new and taking action towards that. Cause something is ending for you here. It could be a career, it could be a job. It could even be friendships or something here. 
where it's ended, it's ran its course, it's no more. Maybe it was a little hurtful, painful, sad that it had to come to an end. But now you have this opportunity to move forward in a new direction and feeling very excited and passionate about that. All right. So let's see. Let's see what Spirit's advice is for you. Move forward. Moving forward for you, Taurus. Moving forward for you, Taurus. It's very, very windy out. It's crazy windy out, so I'm hoping I don't lose power. All right, Taurus, what is your advice from Spirit for this bonus reading for January? Okay. We have Ishtar, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. So some of you need to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, with people, places, things around you and learn how to say no to things that are overbearing, uh, to stressful, to um, burdensome. It's time to set those uh, boundaries up here. We have Senna, infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So Spirit wants you to know whatever you're going through, whatever boundaries you may need to set with people, places, and things around you, that you will have an infinite supply of abundance and prosperity moving forward, whatever that may be. You know, happiness, joy, luck, serendipity, um, wealth, prosperity, growth, expansion. So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. Let's clarify all this energy. All this energy. And I do ask Taurus, especially if you're new, if you like my energy, my style, you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to uh, subscribe. If you do hit the bell, you won't miss out. And like, share, comment. I love to read the comments. Ah, Taurus, what's going on? All right. What's going on in this love energy for Taurus for this bonus reading? for January and you can leave me comments below how you like these bonus readings for the month let's see what we have here the nine of pentacles so that's an independent energy that's your energy so that's being stable secure some of you may you may kind of I feel like with the nine of pentacles energy is someone who's very independent you know they nurture they take care of themselves they kind of you know just do their own thing and then you get the Nine of Swords, stress, worry, anxiety. Hmm, what's going on here? Let's see what we have. So we have the Sun. So that's healing, faith, hope, optimism, uh, everything positive with the Sun, growth, abundance, prosperity, happy home and family, healing, enlightenment, energy, everything. So coming back together, reuniting, celebrating, having a good time. I feel like, let me get all the messages here. Page of Wads. So that's good news coming in, extending out uh, an exciting offer, communication, pa fiery, passionate communication of some kind. Let's see, let's get one more for your love situation. We'll tie it all together for Taurus for January. So we have temperance. So balance here, P uh, patience, peace, harmony, balance, healing energy. So I feel like here, if you're in, a, if you're with somebody, I feel like you're very independent. You kind of do your own thing. I mean, it can be you or your person, however it resonates for you. One person kind of does their own thing. Maybe they're not overly, overly affectionate with the other person. You know, they're very independent and the other person is like stressed out about that. Like they feel like maybe they're not needed in the connection. But the sun is here for happiness, joy, enlightenment, healing, um, positive, positive outcome. Over trumps everything. Coming together, celebrating, having a good time. Fiery, passionate communication. So there needs to be balance in this um, connection. If you're connected with somebody, there needs to be patience. There needs to be balance, healing with the sun. More fiery, passionate communication between the two of you. More spending time together, going out, having a good time. As right here, like attracts like and physical touch is important. So exactly, I feel like here... There needs to be more time spent together, more fiery, passionate, loving communication, balance between the two of you so that you can have this very successful, harmonious sun energy between the two of you. I feel like someone's stressed out, like the other person is too independent, doesn't really give the other one 
the affection like they need. Uh, maybe just one of you is not overly affectionate. But I think there needs to be more balance and loving, caring, nurturing, giving, passionate balance between the two of you. That's just how I'm seeing it. All right, so let's see what this is in life with the Ten of Michael. Something coming to an ending here. Now, a little sad about this ending. Um, maybe it was a long time coming. Four of Cups, yeah, feeling bored. You know, maybe feeling bored and complacent, whatever. It could have been a job. It could be, you know, it could be anything here. Maybe feeling bored, complacent, like, you know, uh, I'm just bored here. It's like, you know, what's, what's going on? So... Seven of Swords. So this could be, hmm. Oh, over here in um, this energy, we have Leo, Sag, and Leo, Sag, Aries. That's our energy with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, and we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we have all the signs there. So it could be anybody. So over here, I feel like, I mean, the Seven of Swords is kind of like self-deceit or just kind of sneaking out of a situation um, kind of energy. Like, I just got to get away. I'm like, I just can't do this anymore. So some of you may be feeling it could be a job or something where you're just like, I just got to get out of here. I just can't do this anymore. I'm bored. Blah. They're like, there's no more growth and expansion here. Like, feeling like something... Um, Two of Cups energy here. So that's usually soulmate energy, but what I feel like here is some of you are finally leaving a situation you've wanted to leave for a long time. It's finally closing out, coming to an end. Maybe a little, uh, you know, a uh, little sad it's coming to an end, but you knew it was a long time coming. Now you're moving forward to something more passionate, exciting, that's more aligned with you. It's Two of Cups energy. More in that um, like loving, compassionate, peaceful place moving forward to something more exciting for you. Okay, so yeah, moving forward, Knight of Pentacles, that's your energy. So it could be career related here. It was a long time coming, Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles doesn't really move. It's very, very slow energy. So I feel like it's been a long time coming. It's been a very slow process but now you're finally moving forward. I feel like in your career, I mean, this could be um, a promotion. It could be, um, wow, we got the eight of rods on the eight of rods. Wow. So it could be a promotion. It could be a raise. It could be, but I'm not getting that. I feel like it could be a promotion for some. Some, I feel like it's a new career opportunity that finally comes in and you're finally able to move forward. It's been a long, long time coming. And now you got two eight of rods here where you're just whoop, moving forward fiery, passionate, quickly to ex ex something exciting and new that's totally aligned with you to your peace, happiness, and joy. Yeah, healing energy, Aquarius energy here. So yeah, divine something divinely coming in for you that's divinely guided with the star energy. That's wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, something you're feeling very optimistic about. You have a lot of faith about it, hope, it's divinely guided and it's like a wish come true because you see you got the two of cups here and now holding the cups here also so feeling very aligned with whatever this and I felt that and the stars it's like everything aligning for you is something meant to be coming in for you and now you moving very stable secure grounded kind of energy moving forward feel like it was a long time coming all right, so let's see what your advice is here with boundaries. Wow, an infinite supply. <sighs> Ten of Cups, so that's your <laughs> total fulfillment in every single way. Happiness and joy, happy home and family kind of energy. King of Pentacles, so being in your power, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Being very stable and grounded and secure. <laughs> And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, wow, some of you, this is a new job opportunity or something where you're taking that opportunity, you're seizing it, and now it's a very secure, stable uh, foundation moving forward and feeling very secure and abundant and stable and happy home and family. That infinite supply there coming in with the found, laying the foundation with the Ace of Pentacles. And you see it. You see it in your mind's eye here, this Ace of Pentacles right here. And you're facing your Ten of Cups, so strength. So being strong, courageous, and brave, having willpower, determination, 
moving forward. And King of Cups being in more loving, compassionate, happy, peaceful energy because of this new thing coming in for you. But it does uh, boundaries. So um, I feel like if there are boundaries you need to set, if it's in this new career or if it's a family, uh, friends, lovers, whatever here, uh, some of you just may need to do that also. Eight of Cups, yeah. You're walking away from things no longer serving you no longer fulfilling for you and walking to you got eight 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 so it's moving towards something more fulfilling for you towards a better happiness and joy something you're excited passionate about taking that fast quick swift action and you will be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows an infinite supply so you may be making more money than you were before boundaries maybe this new position you need to set healthy boundaries if they're overworking you, overloading you, or, you know, say before you even start, you know, I'm not going to overwork myself, you know, setting those limits and healthy boundaries, even with coworkers that may try to take advantage of you, like setting those boundaries in place before you even start. If it's not that, it could be just with uh, family, friends, and that kind of energy. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. The lovers, so again, you know, Coming aligned here, I feel like some of you with your lover being more affectionate, open, passionate between the two of you, becoming aligned and making a choice here to going after, going after something new to the Ten of Pentacles, which is growth, abundance, prosperity for the future, for the long term, being committed to this journey, being committed to your person. And then we have the devil in the moon. So, I mean, the devil could be toxic energy. Um... And the moon could be secrets, illusions, not seeing things clearly. Two of swords being indecisive. And again, laying down burdens no longer serving you. So I feel like you're laying down burdens. We've got two tens here of an ending. So whatever situation you are in now, I feel like it could be a career is very overburdening. Maybe you were very indecisive whether or not to uh, leave this for a very long time. Um, the moon energy, again, not seeing clearly on what to do about like maybe a lot of toxic energy uh, involving this job or people, places, things, relationship, but now being committed to this moving forward to have your 10 of pentacles. And also this could be a long-term life partner here with the 10 of pentacles. You could be married or just a long-term commitment. Now being dedicated, moving forward, love, life, advice, career, and partners, lovers there. Wow, Gem, uh, Taurus. I said Gemini because the lovers is Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Wow, Taurus. All right. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And uh, wishing you the best. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.